17 meter diameter circular foundations, each 11 meters high, support the end pier at the Tinkau headland, which links the approach structures to the cable stayed bridge. These foundations were concreted in 2.2 meter high, 500 cubic meter lifts. Ring walls containing rock fill on top of the foundations give additional mass. The pier's two columns, 60 meters high, together with two neighbors of similar height, were constructed in slip form. The remaining 17 piers, with heights between 13 and 50 meters, were constructed in four meter lifts using conventional crane lifted shutters. Over 1.6 kilometers of road decks for approach viaduct and ramps were constructed as hollow pre-stressed concrete box girders spanning up to 115 meters. Where the decks are high above ground, they were constructed as balanced cantilevers rigidly connected to the supporting piers through pier heads. Up to 10 formwork travelers were used, moving outwards from each side of the piers in four to five meter increments. These slender structures express strength and elegance in equal measure. Across the end pier spans a 64 meter crosshead which houses the rocker bearings of the cable stayed bridge and the bearings of the approach decks. In the center section of the viaduct, where road decks are closer to the ground, construction was carried out on false work. Spans were concreted in four up to 22 meters long segments. After completion of a span, reaching about a quarter into the adjacent span, the box girder was pre-stressed and formwork and false work were moved to the next span location. Abutments, heavily ballasted with fill material to prevent overturning, acted as counterbalances for the single deck cantilevers where construction was carried out over the Tunwen Highway. The fabrication of the six tower heads which housed the stressing anchors of the bridge's stay cables was carried out in nearby Shekar. The bearing blocks for the anchors were welded to the tower walls before the tower heads were assembled. These enormous steel boxes each weigh up to 190 tons and are up to 31 meters tall. The form tubes for up to 88 stay cables per structure had to be fitted with an accuracy of half a degree. At the same time, welding of the airtight cross strut boxes was carried out. Works in the same yard also included fabrication of the 360 main and 530 cross girders for the composite road books of the cable stayed bridge. After fabrication and painting, individual girders were transported to three pre and trial assembly areas. There, Two main and three cross girders at a time were welded into 13.5 meters long grid units. The entire bridge was then trial assembled, five grids at a time, and specified bolt holes for the main girder connections block drilled to ensure correct alignment and fit of the splice plates during the deck erection on site.
At the base of each tower, preparations were made to install the heavy lifting system to be used for raising the steel tower heads and starter panels for each of the decks. Two 200-ton strand jacks were mounted on each side of the lifting beams, which had been stressed to the tower concrete. With the heavy lifting gear in place, the site was ready for the delivery of the steel components. In March 1997, the tower heads for the Tinkau Tower arrived by barge from Shekau. With the heads safely offloaded, it was time to ask the gods for their blessing upon the next formidable stage of the project. Aye. Then it was back to work. A pathway was marked out for the multi-wheeled flatbed hydraulic trailer to carry the tower head to the exact position at the base of the tower where the lifting gear would be attached. On the Ting Kao side, the tight space between the tower and an adjacent rock face required additional movements before lifting could commence. Using the rear section of the trailer and the heavy lifting gear, the tower head was inched to the vertical, ready for its stately ascent to the top of the tower. Once the tower heads had reached their final height, they were slid inward into spaces left open for them. There, all elements...